Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to see how we can create a SFTP connection using Java. So, in our previous video, we already installed a SFTP connection in our local PC for testing purpose and learning purpose. So, I am going to use that uh, SFTP SFTP to connect our Java program. So, let's connect that uh, SFTP using FileZilla, our uh, host. So, my port is 0 plus 1 my username is test underscore user password is test -E test and my port is 22 so if I give quick connect you will see it is connected and it has a folder name inbound so let's go to our code so for this connection we need a library to make the connection we can use our uh, java uh, default uh, java code and you make the connection but it will be a long thing but for that reason uh, library is there so we can use the library to connect the uh, uh, sftp so i am going to use this library jsch library and you can download this jar and add it in your project i already download this jar i will put this link into the description you can now down always download this jar so let's go to the product and learn how to connect this so my so this is my js ch uh, library i'm going to copy it and create a folder here which will be I, this is just a java 8 uh, program i have created in intel ij so new directory library so i'm going to paste it here paste no in your project directory and it will work so add as library if you right click here it, it will show add as library but it's not showing because i already added this so let's go and make the programming so be, to begin with as it, will, as it is a connection we need a try catch so it is better i always put try catch first then i work around so exception e so this is a back practice but it's uh, it feels good for me so in try first we need to put the username and password so make a string user my username is test password sorry test underscore user my password is test after this properties properties dot config new properties config dot this will be this will take two parameter streak host key checking so I don't have a streak host key checking so it will be no so if you have this streak it's streak host key checking you should uh, not give this uh, uh, to make the connection rather than you should give the strict host key in later on so now i need to put the host the string host my host is 127.0.0.1 so now i need to use that library jsch jsch new jsch I need a session to connect to our SFTP JSCH get session now I need to pass the username host session dot set password I need to pass the pass here session dot set 
config pass the config here then session dot connect so let's check if it is get connected or not so for this just use a method is connected method is out session dot is connected let's put a string so that you can understand it will pass us true or false so before this we need to set up our channel so channel should be channel sftp channel sftp session dot open channel so this open channel is to uh, and this uh, this will take sftp so this channel you will use for our communication uh, between this program and our uh, sftp so i'm casting this as a channel sftp i think it's done i just need to disconnect it disconnect this session sftp channel disconnect session disconnect so let's run it if it is get uh, connected uh, it will show us uh, session is connected or it will give us false or uh, it will give us error let's see what happened so you can see it is connected so this is showing true so if we go there you can see in inbound folder i have in one folder it is uh, null so let's put a file in your inbound folder so to put the file in our inbound folder we need to create a file so let's create a file here you can create a, a file anywhere so the file should be new file dot txt let's put a txt file so this is test sf tp file so what i'm going to do i'm going to put this new file in our sftp in one folder so to pass this file uh, we need to use this session channel channel sftp dot put you can see uh, it is it is taking uh, a source and a de uh, and a destination so let's put this so my it will take two parameters source and destination so let's give the actual path copy path absolute path let's give, let's give the absolute path and here let's put inbound this is my folder So inbound new file so what it should do it will it should uh, copy this file and paste this inbound uh, in our inbound folder so let's run it and see what actually happened if it is worked on or not so it gives me an error let's check what is the error oh I didn't connect it channel SFTP connect so we need to connect this to pass this uh, new file in our uh, sftp let's run this again i think it's work let's see so in inbound oh you can see the new file is here so if i open this file in our documents let's go to documents and if i download this file and edit it you can see this is a test sftp file so my test sftp file is here so we have just uploaded this new file in our sftp file so now we are going to see how we can rename it 
so renaming this file is quite easy so let's comment out these and channel sftp dot rename so rename will take you can see rename will take old path and new path so my old path is this and my new path will be so what will what should should do it, it should take this new file dot txt and it should rename it to new file two dot txt let's run it and check if it is working or not so you can see new file txt has been created sorry uh, the, uh, the file has been renamed so if I download it and open it here you can see the content is same so you can see this is how you can use it another thing I want to show you uh, how you can get the all the file name in the directory so to do that you just let me comment out this line and here I need a vector I'm using a vector file list sftp channel sftp dot ls and here I will pass our working directory our working directory is inbound slash so in, let's give a for loop and read the file name file list dot size channel channel sftp dot ls entry ls entry is equal to get so I need to cast it see so if I, I will get this ls entry and get file name so it should, should print the new folder too so let me create one and just, just put new file here so what it should do if I run this it should give us two file one is a new file and new one, the second one is new file dot new file 2 so let's run it so you can see I have two file one is new file dot txt another file is new file 2 dot txt so this is how you can read all the files in our sftp so downloading sftp uh, file is also easy so let's just rename this file so I'm going to uh, download this new file to in our directory so to download this we just need channel sftp dot get so it will take two parameter first one is sort source so our source will be inbound sorry inbound slash bound slash new file two dot txt and my downloaded file name should be this so if I run this it should download this new file and download here let's run it so you can see new file txt is here so if I download this this is test sftp file so in this video we have learned how we can connect uh, sftp make a sftp connection using java then we have seen how we can read all the file directory of sftp then we have seen how we can rename the file and I, we have also seen how we can uh, download the sftp file from uh, file from sftp server in our local pc so thank you for watching and if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel